we can sign a new Queen's Hand trial contract. In this game, the Queen's Hand mode is unlocked after you essentially finish one main save. And it's a permadeath mode where you're expected to start from a zero meta progression state and then unlock a max difficulty seal all within a single Blightstorm cycle. It's pretty tough. Uh, and I, I like how it plays. May the Holy Flame guide you. So here at the start of a Queen's Hand playthrough, we start with a fresh map, a fresh Blightstorm cycle. The goal is to get to one of these seals at the edge here by placing settlements. Each settlement that we place, we then have to play a game of Against the Storm. The difficulty of which will vary as we tackle different modifiers. Orders are disabled. Okay, don't do that. Ominous Presence is also tough. Not impossible, but tough. Feels maybe better to head off in this direction. Also, do you want to settle at the Coastal Grove? Okay, what are the upgrade options for us? We start with no materials to make any upgrades. But let's see what our uh, early unlocks are going to look like. Coal or oil. Oh, I like the I like the building materials starting up uh, embarkation bonuses, so I'll probably pick that. Fundamental upgrade. Allows you to paint amber to reroll blueprints. That's bad. Getting the additional cornerstone picks is going to be one of our priorities here. That'll require machinery and artifacts, which you need a lot of in Queen's Hand mode. Which is why playing next to modifiers is good. Let's see. Reputation required. It's from last longer. It what appears. Rubles cost more. I remember five being tough. Eh. Or the, do the rewards change? Oh yeah, five is the maximum, definitely. Get 22 machinery. If I do it on Prestige 4, same. So no reason to play on Prestige 5 then. I think doing this on P4 is reasonable for the first run. Probably. I guess we're going to find out. If we fail, we'll have a false start. You do get to essentially choose your own difficulty for each settlement in Queen's Hand mode. Um, you are allowed to pick any difficulty with more difficulty yielding higher rewards. Doing the first settlement on Prestige 20 is more or less impossible, though. You can do it with some gameplay exploits, but other than that, I don't think it's reasonable to do at all. How long does the settlement last? So, uh, in Queen's Hand mode, the, one of our goals is to minimize the time each settlement takes. Uh, each year in game is 12 minutes real time. Four, season, uh, four minutes per season, three seasons per year. And then a typical settlement is usually in the range of six to eight years. So for real time purposes, you're looking at an hour 15 to an hour 45. But you can play on higher speeds, 2x or 3x, so if you're really determined, you can finish a settlement in under an hour. I usually take about two hours plus per settlement. We'll see how this one goes. The more complicated they are, the, the tougher it is. There may, there may be a lot of pausing involved. Okay, housing gives more of a bonus. Cool. So biome effect, that's right. And sacrifice algae. And we have a port. We also have reduced hearth radius, so our hearth is smaller, effectively. And the negatives here. Trade route cost increases. Fuel consumption goes up. Ooh. Distracted. It's kind of bad. Try to keep hostility low. Oh, that's cool, Word of Wombo. Word of Wombo. My only issue with something like that is that uh, the condition might be hard to meet each time you lose focus, but how often are you really losing focus? Not that often, I imagine. 
So we start with what here? 261. We have nine villagers. That's not bad. <clears throat> so short term, what are our priorities? We want to prep for cutting into a dangerous glade. We probably want to open one or more small glades too. We don't have a lot of resource to start here. Uh, we probably want to get up some basic industry stuff as well. Woodcutters camps are mandatory. Let's start with those. If... This is a game of settlement management here. So we start with nine villagers. Villagers can either be workers at a particular building or they can be builders to help us build new stuff. And the goal is to expand and manage our settlement through various seasons and across different crises while acquiring new resources to keep up with our demands. It's a fun little balance of a lot of things. Yeah, I definitely like opening glades before I choose things here. See, we started with primarily beavers. Beavers make good woodcutters. beginning of each year, we choose a passive perk. These perks aren't very good. I might want to just take 10 amber here. Because we can decline the perk and gain money. That can be used at the trader, and currently money is pretty good, actually. I'll, I'll take money. I need a fishing thing, huh? Hmm. I also need a donut. Delicious pipe donut. Our first orders arrive. Those are like quests that we'll need to complete to gain reputation. That's the blue meter here. We fill up the blue meter entirely, then we win. Hooray. Meanwhile, the impatience meter in red is constantly ticking up. If that fills up entirely, then we lose. Terrible. I'll cut that open. Might as well see what's inside. Oh yeah, we can only get hearth level one currently, right? Yeah, we're going to have a lot of things that we're not allowed to do in this game that we would normally take for granted in a game of Against the Storm. For example, the ability to level up our Hearth Beyond Level 1. In Queen's Hand mode, we have to unlock that. This is super getting torn down. Did they add any new mode? I don't, I don't think so. No, I don't think anything like that was added. Let's see. Currently, our Hearthkeeper is the Frog. Frog Hearthkeeper will allow newcomers to come faster, which I think is very good. We can grow our population. We can expand what we can do. That's almost always a good thing. Oh yeah, fertile soil means we can take a farm blueprint. Or, um... Also eyeing the forester's hut, TBH. Two-star berries is pretty good, though. This is great food production. And we can even turn off the plant fiber production and just really grow food. Which is quite nice. So we'll, we'll think on that some more. I'm going to open the dangerous glade before I decide. Let's see. Okay, those are our default to the same thing. Good. Um, anything else I need to do? The wood burns before coal. We might need that coal to solve a dangerous glade event. I like that we have all these clay nodes. That's going to be quite useful. And uh, the frogs have specialization in mining. So they'll be happy at that job. So if you haven't seen the DLC maps, uh, this is what it looks like. There's a Strider port where we can frequently spend algae and roots. We have to go fishing to get for the algae. Um, or Sorry, algae and food of any kind. And later on, you require complex food. 
And from this, we get blueprints as well as random resource rewards, which is pretty cool. The strider goes off into the lake. Our map itself is sort of a crescent-shaped island, relatively thin, but it's sort of a big, uh, big crescent that we can cut through and explore. Which can sometimes allows very early access to forbidden glades. None that are too close here, though. First newcomers are already here. I definitely like the idea of getting two tools, although two planks is also good. I do want more frogs. Tools are very valuable. Early game, so are planks, though. I'll take the planks. Okay, and then make one of these. Oh yeah, the trees give LG. I forgot about that. So we can get our first 10 LG pretty quick. In fact, we have 30 already. Which means we can already send our first adventure. In that case, let's do that. Uh, we get to choose a category of blueprint that we want. City building, industry, food production, or resource gathering. I'm going to choose food production. Let's see what happens. We don't have the... Field kitchen here, so we don't have any way to make complex food to start. Given that complex food is usually pretty important, yeah, let's get a let's get a thing. Momentarily, the storm will start. During the storm, everybody loses a bunch of resolve. Storm storm's usually not too bad, though. How fast-paced is the gameplay of this game in general? At any time, you can pause and take stock of things, so it really goes at whatever pace you want. Storm is here. Everybody is still fine. Good. So we'll cut into this dangerous glade towards the end. Oh yeah, I need a trading post now. Speaking of... Actually, that's a premium spot. Put it over here. Yeah, there's our housing coming up. And the trading post, too. All right, now let's choose orders, I guess. Complete two trade routes to get plus one plank production. Or keep frog resolve above 20. Get some parts. Like this. This shouldn't be too hard to do. Although we don't get very many trade off. Actually, that might be hard to do. Because the first settlement only has very limited options for trade routes, right? Yeah, there's, a, there's only the Smoldering City available, so we only have two options for what to trade. So actually, that is quite hard. In that case, probably I take Frog's Resolve. Smoldering City does accept a number of things, but only two things at any given time. We can also buy an order slot. Actually, this won't be that hard can make it happen. And then we can do the Amber Trade alongside that. Tools and Wildfire Essence are great. Clearing Glades. Complete two Glade events and deliver five packet building materials or three Glades and rebuild a ruin. I like Lost in the Woods. That one's pretty easy to do. In general, I'm looking for orders that don't require me to sacrifice any resources to actually accomplish them. Expedition complete. So we get... Oh, we get 8-pack of luxury goods. Wow. 30 boots. 
And woodcutters can now carry more. Sweet, the beaver woodcutters are going to be great. Uh, let's start another expedition then. Change the firekeeper? No, I'm perfectly happy with the one I have. When we build a second hearth, I'll probably change to beaver firekeeper. Uh, what blueprint did I get? Actually, good question. We got herb garden. Okay, so about that fertile ground. And that's why you wait, right? Now we don't want to pick either of these. We want to pick Carpenter. Um, but I think I'm still going to open this before I look, for sure. All right, Totem of Denial. That could be good if we can convert it. Here's more fertile ground and a fishing pond. Cool. Very cool. Oh, what's this? More ancient tablets. Fishmen hate fire. So we perform the ritual. That's right. Increase global resolve by plus three, which is very, very good. If possible, I would like to purchase from a trader or otherwise acquire some of these resources. 25 is a lot of crystallized dew. Okay, let's choose Carpenter. Brick house versus brick oven. We know we have a drizzle water geyser, right? That is drizzle. Yes, we have a drizzle water geyser, which makes a cookhouse better than usual. This can make skewers. And I already have ingredients for skewers. Yes, let's take cookhouse. We can start making skewers right away. Uh, that's the thing, though. Nobody actually likes eating skewers of the species that we have. Wait a minute. It's bad. Brick oven could maybe make incense? Yes, we could make enough incense to convert the Totem of Denial if we took Brick Oven. That's tempting. And yes, it still multiplies food even though nobody likes it. True. I use dye? No. Incense, scrolls, tea, training gear, ale, or wine. I'll take Brick Oven here. Three global resolve is pretty good. Hmm. Oh, workshop. Oh, tool shop. But I can already make tools. I can already do tools. I can already do planks as well. I care about pipes? Not really. Sounds like we want a lumber mill. Beavers love lumber mills. And that can help us mass produce planks. Alright, let's get the crude workstation online. Uh, which means we should get down on the woodcutting for now. You can make uh, a fabric out of algae. That's kind of cool. Oops. Sweet. All right, begin making stuff. How long do we have before this does stuff? 12 minutes. That should be plenty of time. The working time isn't that long. We get to choose a new cornerstone here. Frequent caravans. Impatience grows at a reduced rate after finishing a trade route. Or hostility is reduced if we use water in rain engines. Those are not great purple perks. Or uh, orange perks, rather. But... They are here. I might decline again, actually. More money, please. Yeah, more money, please. 
All right, we have a lot to trade with here. Unfortunately, basic building materials are available for sale at cheap prices. So we're gonna snap up a whole bunch of these. On a higher difficulty, I would buy the Purging Fire too. Couldn't need that here though. Okay, let's get that uh, brick oven online ASAP here. And I need fabric for the lumber mill, which he cannot provide us. That's fine. I want to buy more bricks? Maybe. Okay, that should be plenty. Um, I do need to trade four more good of amber to complete amber trade. What does that actually yield me? Two more people, six tools. I'm getting wildfire essence. I could sell wildfire essence, except I can't because he didn't buy it. Jerk. Please buy my garbage. Oh, well. Okay, so I no longer need to rush work at Stonecutter's Camp or the Crude Workstation. Cool. Please make the brick oven now. Why do I leave the spot right in front of the hearth empty? This is for premium... Um... Premium production buildings. We want close to the hearth end to the warehouse. So as I unlock more recipes, we're going to put buildings in here. Houses want to be basically as far away from the hearth as possible. Because they are not required. Let's see, we need how much? 30? So three people working. We'll get there. Get that done fast. In that case one of you nerds off. Please make incense out of insects and please use the coal. build another hearth soonish actually kind of wild oh good more newcomers couple more frogs please Frogs don't need houses, but they can live in special frog houses, which are unlocked by default, notably. Our expedition is complete. We get 15 more bricks. Now I feel bad for buying those. That's fine. Woodcutters carry even more stuff. The woodcutters are kind of insane. I don't feel like I have enough food to go on another expedition right now. Uh, there was no blueprint that time. You only get a blueprint every second expedition, starting with the first one. Herbs are good. Please make herbs. Oh, and one of them got doubled, so we have extra incense. That's fine. Please perform the ritual now. 
punta. So we're watching them empty this. Use the oven later. Need flour to make biscuits. You can make herbs with them though. Or make them out of herbs though. That's pretty good. Okay, back to woodcutting. Can't make anything. Good sign. Make a few more fabrics. Almost deconstructed the obelisk. We have two ancient tablets we can use at the next trader. Should be pretty good. The warehouse here-ish. Cutting over here. This will be our second hearth. Kind of expand in this direction. The woodcutters just chop until they're holding like 20 stuff. No, they can just carry all the stuff back in one go. Kind of lame. Um, do I have more food nodes? No. That's concerning. So we're going to run out of food sooner rather than later. Definitely concerning. Hmm. I might want to open another small glade then. Get some short term food. Each glade we open raises hostility, so you don't want to open too many glades, especially not small ones, but especially on with a, a lower unlock state, that can be worth it. It's a lot of sea marrow. Path too. Uh, you can move now. Storm is beginning. There was not any food here. There is two fishing ponds. One gives algae, one gives scales. Those are nice and all, but it's not food. It's a bit of a problem, you see. I want food. Small hearth here. Oh yeah, this thing has been converted. Oh, it's still going. Okay. Wait on that then. Gamble for a trapper's camp with the expedition. That's true. Increasingly a good idea, in fact. We're going to get to pick some blueprints very shortly, actually. As well. Don't open that yet. That would be dumb. No way to open that right. Okay, time to make fishing stuff then. to be there, huh? 
13 people. I guess we do want more. Unsure of my ability to feed everybody, though. How's it going? Big Milkus, welcome, welcome. Very much enjoy this game. I think it's very replayable. Fucking good time. So, strongly recommend. Very strongly recommend. On fishing. All right, with a converted totem of denial, we have plus three global resolve, which is great. So make the earth right here. Okay, on fuel. Cut into this dangerous glade for more resources. People who are not employed. Go work here. Okay, now we have most of the villagers with an actual job. That's good. Oh yeah, and I need to make the herb garden. That's requiring the cuts. That's right. Uh, but it's time for herbing right now. Oh well. Open the glade. They did not open the glade. This time it's the guild who's going to pay you. Gain 10 amber every time a trader arrives. Yes, that's better than 10 amber one time for sure. We're also going to pick some new objectives here. Two empathy choices or four rain engines. The empathy choices is a much better reward. I'm going to check, choose that, even though it might be harder to do. Six trade routes in total also might be hard to do. But I'm willing to believe. Again, though, priority right now is food. We need more food. That's cleared out, so we can make the herb garden now, I believe. No, we're missing one tree here. You can cut that or what? Thank you. Ooh, a Harmony Spirit Altar. Each unique service building adds to Global Resolve. Another great thing to convert, and guess what? It only takes Amber... And incense, and we know how to get incense. Or do we? Yes, I still have enough insects to make more incense. 
Let's get two people on that right away. Lots of food in this cache. Might be worth it. What was that pirate XCOM-like game I played earlier in the week? That was called Rogue Waters, and I believe we're going to be seeing more of that for the release on the 30th, or a little bit after the 30th. Um, yeah, next week we're going to be doing another stream of that. Uh, and I'll be giving away some copies, too. Should be fun. Okay, you are too idle, sir. How's that traitor coming along? Okay, three seconds. I was wondering. Hello? There you are. Herbalist camp is not a trapper's camp. Hmm. The heck do I buy here? I guess flour, right? Yeah, because then we can make biscuits. Which both the beavers and the humans enjoy? Oh yeah, that's good stuff. Okay, give me your flour. Take some fabric, too. Remember that I have a lumber mill. I guess I'll take some fish. And then cash this in. Which gives us a blueprint here. Forger's Camp. So if I'd purchased Forger's Camp, we wouldn't have seen this. I guess I'll still take it. Although, wait. Um, I hadn't noticed, actually. We got reed fields. Reed fields are good. guess I'll take Forager's Camp. Really want Clothier. No, you just don't sell. Oh, no, there's Herbalist Camp. So we could have both. I misunderstood. That would kind of secure things, right? You know, I don't hate that idea. Complex food now? Well, that's a good use for skewers. I forgot about that. Hmm. Heck. Oh, well. Uh, we're going to enable biscuit production after you guys finish that. I guess that'll do for now. The biscuits should help with a short-term food situation.
But yeah, I need paste, porridge, or skewers to keep doing uh, things here. Definitely should not have taken this. Oh, and I need 15 amber. I knew I was forgetting something. Heck. I need to buy amber now. Dang it. Waste. Sweet. Okay, please do that. What is paste? A new complex food? That's right. That's exactly what paste is. Isn't Blight Rock gonna wreck me? It would if we were playing on P20. But we're not playing on P20, and so the Blight Rot actually isn't real. Don't worry about it. Blight Rot doesn't reel. It can't hurt you. housing over here. I need three more people to live here, apparently. I have too many houses over here. I see the mistake that I made. Fortunately, this house could be moved for free, apparently. When did that change? Sweet. So yeah, we're at 88% uh, corruption rate. That's it. We can completely ignore the Blight Rot. If we wish, and I do wish. For a little while, anyway. We'll have to burn them later, but not this year. Houses costing wood to move is a difficulty thing. Ah, okay. I was wondering about that. Noted. Makes sense, actually. Charges there. Would be charges here. Okay, taking twice as long because they're splitting their attention. I could have told them to focus one at a time, and I probably should have, but I don't care that much. We'll gather everything. Working on it in a moment, though. Okay. Should stop making incense. Okay, so we'll have this converted. Gives us good reason to look uh, for service building blueprints. That's an empathy choice, too. Perfect. It'll qualify for restoration. We've had newcomers waiting for how long? Too long. Too long, I say.
Two hostility. Yeah, two hostility should be fine. Although that will improve fuel consumption even further. It's not great. Sixty-seven beaver resolve. Nice killer sheep. Sounds like uh, quite a time. Oh, yeah, we should set up over here. Good source of food, actually. Another thing here as well. Plus sixteen guild house, wow. We had a plus nine yesterday, and that was that was pretty absurd. Sixteen is ridiculous. Just absurd. You've got one builder, I see. Okay, let's fire you two for now. Get some stuff online. Think about making a third hearth, potentially. It's going to be even more fuel consumption, though, so I'm not exactly thrilled by the idea. Okay, this has been converted. percent chance of ye of double yields not bad free tools every time a villager leaves or dies that's not very useful i'll take 10 percent chance of double yield we can no longer control consumption but that really doesn't matter very much yeah it's not happening 12 trade routes probably also not happening open or send four caches what two empathy choices again Sure. I also like the reward of pack provisions. Oh, I do have a clearance geyser. I just realized that. It's pretty hard. Done. We have no flower. Make many planks. Make those two. The gardeners. Cool. Well, we're actually getting stuff done. Maybe. Sort of. Kind of. Kind of stuck at low blueprints currently, though. Definitely would like to get another point of reputation somehow. Oh, I was meant to cut into a new glade, wasn't I? I guess we could do so now.
Let's just make that happen. Distance. Might have been smarter to cut into this one. Hello. I don't know what I need. Let's take twenty four tools, huh? I have a carpenter. Hold on. So I can make a decent number of these, actually. We should do that. and beavers enjoy coats, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, See, training gear to bust, bust caches actually makes sense, right? Yeah, because it's only, it's a lot less. Training gear actually costs less per unit than sea marrow. So buying, for example, what is it, 20 sea marrow? Bust this cash. 40 sea marrow. So it's either 20.8 if I pay for sea marrow, which is a lot. Or if I want 16 training gear, it's only 5.6. That's a steal. Uh, I do want to bust the cash that has ancient tablets in it, this one. 40 pickled goods is a nice little bonus, too. This has more flour. Maybe both of them. I wanted 32 of this. What would you say? You'd say yes. Perfect. All right. Yes, let's open the one with the ancient tablets for sure. Go away. Thank you. We also get more woodcutter capacity. I have too much woodcutter capacity as it is. That doesn't do anything. Oh, well. Yeah, why even cut it down? Just carry the whole tree. Pick it up. Probably fine. Patience is definitely getting a little high. Kind of concerned at the moment. Not really getting a whole lot done. Fallen Beaver Traders. Paying for funeral is an empathy choice. I already have enough incense, apparently. I just need 15 amber. Where am I going to get 15 amber? 
is a good question. I guess we can call a traitor for that. Oh, and there's ruins. Yes, the tea house. Okay, yeah, that buys us quite a bit of time then. Good. Also, I believe I can harvest this. Yes. Let's put a warehouse out here. Need less woodcutters for the moment. Close to being done. Zero, one. Oh, yeah, those are almost done. I, think I need to summon a trader, though. That's not going to happen. Yeah, I think we summon a trader in a minute. Uh, once once we get the tablets, because we can sell these ancient tablets. So actually, yeah, just call now. Cool. Perfect. So we need five. Hmm. Need a full amount. house do. Tea, incense, and water skins is what the tea house does. I feel like it didn't make water skins before. Yes. Salvage it then? I guess salvage it then. Give me some more incense. Sushi Cat, thanks for the prime sub and the 21 months of support. Thank you, thank you. fish pond that actually gives food for them. This large encampment. And we need fish for that. The green geyser. Think about making the blight post soonish. I'm also going to go human earthkeeper because we're too close to dying here. Okay, 
Okay, that'll be fuel intense, but it's important. Uh, and we need to keep cutting dangerous glades. Yes, we do. Everyone's fine. There's some definitions of fine. Rapper's camp. Okay. Okay. Let's pick that. It's really good. It's going lol naif. Welcome, welcome. You're goaded. No you. When is the Goat People DLC? Now, that that's a good question. That's a very good question. Okay, we definitely want to start doing these. Also acceptable, right? might be key to our success. Thankfully, the high uh, impatience keeps the hostility low, which makes things easy in a way. Difficult in an entirely different way. That's right, high impatience isn't high impatience isn't bad, but full impatience sure is. The only hit point that matters is the last one, right? Same concepts. Dead. Uh, these are both garbage. I'll take ten money again. The the cornerstones being completely useless has definitely been part of what's making this challenging. Curious to see if we can't save it though. Take a look at this. Fifty amber have market. Or discover two dangerous or forbidden glades within 180 seconds of each other. That's at least able to be done reliably. 35 packer provisions, also not that bad. And I'll just put up there. What have we got here? Escaped convicts. Empathy is the persuade choice. Minus eight global resolve while being worked on. That's not bad, actually. We just get a bunch of stuff. Yeah, let's just do that. And bathhouse. We definitely want to rebuild because that's a service building that'll give global resolve. Plus two berries would have been great. Oh, yeah, actually. True. 
Three more ancient tablets. Ten more tools. Okay. Ten tools. Okay, okay. That's idle, finally. Glad they finished. How much sea marrow? We got 16 sea marrow, ultimately. This is also done. I think I'm going to deconstruct this warehouse. No reason for anyone to go over there. Yeah, we do need more woodcutters, though. Unfortunately. Sheep. Well, we can sell some of this, too. Yes, we could get another Glade in quick succession. I want to do that right now, though. I'm going to get that later. The trees here give any interesting byproduct. Algae, if you count that. They also give vegetables. Is there a difference? I think they're all just kelp wood. Yeah. Algae is the byproduct. Not bad. This seem to be a wood low biome. That is, the trees only give one wood at base. Compared to some of the other biomes where they give more than one. Cool. Ran out of metal, ran out of metal. Twenty seven is enough people for now. Four tools, heck yeah. yeah. Another valuable point. Two empty choices done. Oh yeah, and we just got a bunch of new people too. That's right. Fifteen pack of revisions. That helps me fulfill this one. Eight more tools as well. Okay, I think we're starting to get a bit of control over the situation here. We don't have any way to get our blueprints for the moment, though. It's a bit tough. Can make more flour. 
Flour can be made out of algae. We have tons of algae. Let's take that. And then we can use our oven to make biscuits proper. Uh, we're going to buy the porridge. So I can do expeditions. We'll buy everything, really. Got lots of ancient tablets. Have some of these. Get the small farm for flour? No, we, ha we have literally so much flour. There's no concern here. Not a problem. But yeah, so let's do porridge. I, oh yeah, I was going to say, let's turn off the porridge consumption. Except I'm not allowed to do that. I took without restrictions, so... Oh, well. <laughs> Whoops. It's fine, probably. Good luck, buddy. There we go. Pack of provisions. Four more people as well. 40 skewers. The skewers will stick around for a while. Those won't get eaten. So that's nice. Oh, and I can sell the skewers too. Just for another trade route. Okay, looks like we have control of the situation again. It's definitely close for a while there. Yeah, our hostility really spiked because we, we have 36 people. That part's a little iffy. Uh, I'm going to make a third hearth then. She's going to take bricks. I don't have any bricks. Let's make some bricks. Crude workstation. Stamming will have bricks? Yes. It does. You are right about that. Oh, except I need bricks to bake it. Damn it. <laughs> that was the problem. It's like, why isn't that done yet? Alright, try that again. But do make bricks. Um, also, yikes. Still yikes. Okay, level three is fine, right? Yeah, that's fine. Oh yeah, we also need... Blind Post, which also needs bricks. Slightly concerning.
Dogs are fine. They love it. Yeah, they leave slower too. Well, he won't even notice. Clan Hall, heck yeah. I love Clan Hall. Woodcutters can carry more items, so oh boy. <laughs> yeah. Good for them. Yeah, good good for them. Good for them. Uh Mist Piercers. The contents of glades are revealed. Or five eggs per blight rot cyst. This will give me 25 eggs shortly. I'll take 10 money though. Just give me money, the theme of the day. Okay, we need more wood cutting yesterday. Red meter is still a little scary as we complete our final orders here, but these are looking all right, actually. Don't need to get people happy enough to start earning reputation. Hoping Clan Hall can help with that. It's another two global resolve at minimum. Fuel is definitely hard to come by. Fishers anymore. The mines can't be upgraded, is that correct? No, they can't. Let's do coal burning. Many biscuits. Make lots. Okay, that's coming home soon. Okay, 
It feels like we're stable, even on fuel. I was worried that would be bad, but... Oh, they changed what the clan hall does. Hold on. Two people gives carnivorous tradition. All meat-based complex foods. Jer jerky, skewers, pies, and paste. Give two more resolve. And then all camps produce greater yields, too. Definitely want that camp yield. Although I'm not actually using that many camps currently. Look at the service building, so it is still two global resolve. It's still not there. Hmm. Closer. Need to get to 30 resolve to make the beavers happy. Same with the humans. Yeah, I've got some unhoused frogs. Frogs don't care if they're unhoused, though. Uh, you can build them brick houses to make them happier, but they actually don't get a penalty. Which I'm cool with, I guess. That's right, that'll take a while. But frogs abide. Okay, so we should be making... Let's make another stamping mill, actually. much money? Apparently I'm rich. Let's get cheaper fuel consumption. Seems good. Let's buy all the fancy stuff, actually. Thanks. can brawl at the clan hall now. That'll make them happy, too. Cool. Usually the very first Queen's Hand game is quite hard to win. I think eight years is reasonable hard to take for game one. Perfectly valid. Uh, we should think about cutting into more glades now. Might be time to open the Forbidden Glades. Or a Forbidden Glade. I wish she had tools for sale. Oh well. Let's make copper bars.
Uh, yes, I believe the order will count dangerous or forbidden. Yeah, dangerous or forbidden within 120 seconds. Or 180 seconds. Although I've got a pre-chop. Uh, we can get this dangerous glade. And then this forbidden glade pretty quickly. Okay, we'll do those. Happy enough, I could take hostility four. No, I don't want to pay three wood for every villager. It's uh, weird. Welcome back. We get Monastery. Another service building, so that's another two global resolve if I build it, which I will. Seems good. Boost club resolved by one for every three levels of standing with other settlements and trade routes. <laughs> Expected gain, zero. I'll take bed and breakfast again, I guess. Zero. That's just sad. Okay, time for wood cutting. enough. Oh yeah, nobody working on the monastery. We don't have enough bricks anyway. Um, I guess it's the clan hall. Oh, another one of these. Oh, perfect. Okay, just convert another one of these, which I can easily do. And that'll give us tons of global resolve. Okay, that's our win con right there. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, and now you guys move over here.
Is this Queen's Hand mode? It sure is. You're looking at the first settlement of our playthrough. Rather small forbidden glade, right? How much stuff can possibly fit in here? There we go. Big pond, destroyed cage of the war beast. Another easy funeral. Another free event, actually. Sweet. And then a large cache. We'll also do. Okay, that should be close to winning then. Should be very close to winning. One tea pipes. More food for expeditions, I'm afraid. though, huh? Mm. Might be too far away. Yeah, they've got it. We'll be slow, but they got it. If I was playing on a higher prestige, that wouldn't work, but I think we're fine. We do have to survive another storm, though. That's going to be a little messy. Cool having so many tools, though. Shut down, huh? Ooh. The stamping mills can also connect. Facility four? Love that. Gonna cost over a hundred wood from sacred flame rituals. Stacking wood would cost even more though. Yes, this will have to do. And you have to pay 108 wood or lose two villagers. Either of those are particularly appealing.
Oh. Also do that. Helps a lot. Humans like that even more. Wait. Still gotta pay the wood, though. Going, how's this going? Crap. What's happened? Oh, but I can't. Ugh. Uh, the frogs prefer masonry buildings, so they're good at the stone cutting camp, as well as stuff like the stamping mill. Like water and construction. Yeah. Well phrased. Let's just do it. Oh, shoot. We are going to fail this. I guess that's not that bad, though. No impatience gain, notably. It's fine. Explorer's Lodge. Yeah, each one of these is for Global Resolve. That's pretty good. What's up, Zorg? Would have been a good time for you to have planks for sale. I think faster traders, though. That does sound good. Fuel, please. Pray to whatever God will have you. Luck. Gaining 0.4 rep per minute. Thanks to happy beavers. Not too bad, not too bad.
Give me a metal. Okay. Two are fired. 0.58 per minute. Even better. Uh, we do need to chop into some new glades to get more caches, though. Guess we could open another forbidden one. That doesn't seem like such a bad idea. Last one was pretty free. Why not accept newcomers? Because each villager that we have um, needs to be fed. So each additional villager is more food consumption. They It also means if we're consuming service goods like incense for religion, that we have greater consumption of those goods. Um, and each additional villager brings more hostility too. So it's a question of how much can we use the additional workforce versus... Uh, how penalized are we for their presence? So we're getting four more beavers, whether I like it or not, apparently. Yeah, it, at some point, villagers become a net minus, usually. The more villagers you have, the harder they are to keep happy, too. Typically. Please work the lumber mill. Kind of insane plank production? Yeah, three wood becomes four planks. Seems fine. Mm. Okay, three more points to win. Looks like we'll have a year nine win. It's not great, but not bad. Just winning the first settlement is hard enough. Okay, we got the war beast. Oh, you're not even. Oh, you did. You did finish. Okay. So yeah, that's gonna be hard. How did I feel about slice and dice after all the hours I streamed? I really like most of slice and dice, but it's got just a few rough spots that make it less desirable to play. The curse system and the wonkiness of items in general I think makes it hard to want to replay the game constantly. It's so hard to use your items effectively sometimes. Makes certain runs feel really bad. Just enjoy mining. Yeah, they do. They love it. They live for it. You know what? Maybe we can rush. I really doubt it, though. The beavers, they yearn for the mines. resist. We got a bait drainage mole. On awakening the infected mole, all dormant cysts activate and start to corrupt the hearth. Cysts spawn, okay. We just heal it with algae though. Hostility. Oh boy. 
That'll go down in a moment though, right? Explorer's Lodge. Easy peasy. Can I win if I send both caches? No, I don't have the tools for that. Pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. But yeah, it'll be a year nine win. That's fine, though. No problem. No problem. Heal that mole. Heal him. Close, right? If only I had been able to send both caches, could have shaved a year off. All good though. Casually getting plus 16 global resolve from the converted spirit halters, by the way. Ridiculous. Hey, the wood? No way, that's a scam. This is due after the game ends, so not happening. Like credit card debt when you're 90 years old, you know? It doesn't exist. You don't actually have to pay that. Fun fact. Triple bed and breakfast. Bed and breakfast and breakfast and breakfast. Just as the hobbits would want. We'll speed run the end of that. GG. 